the Kia Karens. Now this is a no-nonsense, good value mid-size MPV and the amount of cash you save buying this instead of one of its supposedly more desirable or sporty MPV rivals, well you could buy something used that's sporty for the weekend and use this for what it's designed for, a brilliant family car. So if you want you can fold down all the seats and turn it into a van and then use it to carry your eldest and all their stuff off to university but if you want to go on holiday with your family of five you easily just put the seats back up and then you've got room for everybody plus well if you look at the boot space there's still enough capacity for everyone's luggage if you need to then take your kids and their mates to some sporting event you pop up these chairs which you can only do from the back by the way and then well you've got no room for anything else, no luggage at all. You can't fit a child stroller in here like you can in the Grand C4 Picasso. Some saving graces though, you can hide the parcel shelf under this false floor. And look at this, you get a little, yay, an LED torch thingy, brilliant. Now the Kia Karen's overall load carrying capacity is down on that compared to its main rivals. And this thing continues with its ability to carry seven people. So if I just jump in here, pull this chair back to where it was, get these ones out of the way so you can actually see what the heck's going on back here. You'll notice that, well, look at that. I've got absolutely no knee room. Headroom's really cramped. Even children are gonna find it a little bit claustrophobic back here. It doesn't help that these windows are small. Now you could try and convince the person in front of you to slide their chair forward, but then uh, I'll show you that, well, if I get these seats back out the way, it can be a bit of a faff. They're not the easiest out there right get them out of the way you will see then i have no knee room here so you're just going to slide your chair back and crush the poor person behind and on the whole you know it's all right with three people in this middle row because you've got individual chairs and yes you can recline them and slide them as i've shown you but you sit quite low compared to the mpvs so the view out isn't so good now if you want to see what it's like with people in this car click in the top right hand corner of the screen on the card. You can also see what it's like to fit a child seat in here and just how much stuff we could squeeze in the boot. There are a few things I do like though, such as these pop-up tables, which are sturdy enough to take your food. And you've got some cubby space underneath the footwells. I mean, let me just get this out of the way. Look at this. There we go. Look at that. It's handy. And this theme, once again, continues in the front. So there are pretty big door bins in this car. Look at this. You can fit a litre bottle. Well, it's actually a litre and a half, wow, in there. And there's more space under here. And you do get a very big glove box as well. On the whole though, I think the interior design of this car is, well, it's a little bit boring, shall we say. But I can't really fault the quality. It feels solid and there's some nice soft touch plastics about the place. Equipment's good as well. You know, it's a good value car. You get reversing sensors, you get things like automatic climate control and Bluetooth as standard across the range. This is the range shopping car. Don't suggest you get that. You should get the one below the three level because it's got all you need to get some extras such as some blinds. You also get a bigger touchscreen and satellite navigation. If you click in the top right hand corner of the screen on the card, you can see our in-depth review of it and have another look around this car's cabin. Being an MPV means the Karens majors on practicality. However, how it drives is still important. This Kia Karens doesn't bother with the pretense that it is in any way, shape or form fun to drive. This is all about comfort, and that's it. So yeah, the controls, they're all light, nice and easy to use. It's reasonably quiet, and when you go over bumps, that suspension, it just soaks them up really nicely. The only thing is though, the really simple suspension combined with the tall body does mean that this thing done half lean through the corners. And the problem with that is that it can potentially make your children feel a little bit sick if you're driving it down a B road. So you can get the Karens with a petrol engine, and it doesn't suit the car at all. The most popular engine is a 1.7 litre diesel and you can get in two power outputs. This is the higher power version and we've got the automatic gearbox. And well, this engine, when you put your foot down, it don't half grumble a bit, it's a bit rough, but it, it's more than up to the task. And the economy though, it's down on what you're gonna get from a Citroen Grand C4 Picasso. Well, because the MPG of this is 59, it's a bit off the pace, but in the real world, there ain't gonna be that much difference. So I'm actually averaging 48 miles per gallon, which isn't too bad at all. 
In terms of, well, the visibility, the glass area just doesn't seem so expansive as in other MPVs. In, yeah, so the visibility is not as good as you, you'd expect, really. And you can see for yourself by clicking in the top right-hand corner of the screen on the card to watch our 360-degree video. It's not just the visibility which is a little bit disappointing about the Kia Karens. Here are five other annoying things. If the centre console was just a little bit shorter, I could put my feet there rather than having to go like that. The Kia Karens doesn't hold onto its value quite as well as other MPVs. Not only is it cramped in the back, but when you sit on this side, your head hits this, and when someone's sat there, this happens. Awesome. When you're driving, the prevailing weather conditions are reflected in this shiny trim, and the flickering can be a bit distracting. The location of these seat belts mean they cut right across your neck. I feel a bit lightheaded. Shame I don't have a seven year warranty like the Kia Karens does. Speaking of which, here are five other cool things about the car. Sound cancelling software uses the car's speakers to neutralise noises and keep the cabin nice and quiet at speed. The accelerator pedal has been specifically designed to reduce ankle ache while you're driving. The passenger seat has this handy extra cubby which is perfect for your mobile phone. Buying a current is easy because there's only four trim levels and virtually no options, so what you see is what you pay. The current is slightly shorter than its rivals, which makes it a bit easier to park, and if you are rubbish at parking, then you can get the auto park facility and the car will do it for you. Okay then, so overall, what do I think of the Kia Karens? Well, the third row of seats is really cramped and this car is bland to drive, but then its suspension's nice and comfy and it's great value for money. Now, if you click up there, you can get more information and find out the best deal you can get on a Kia Karens at carwow.co.uk. Thanks for watching. If you click over there, you can watch our group test video between the Kia Karens, the Citroen Grand C4 Picasso and the new Volkswagen Touran. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, share it and subscribe to our channel. Now, did you spot the Easter egg in this video? It was a bit of Gangnam Style playing on my iPad.